In this lesson, we're going to discuss key shot material types. I want to make sure you understand what I mean when I say that, and I want to make sure you understand the differences between the different material types inside key shot. What I want to talk about is what makes up a material type in key shot. So when you double click on a material or an object that has a material on it in key shot, the materials tab opens up on the right hand side within your project panel. Under type, you can see across the way we have a drop down menu. They call these accordions. This is a drop down accordion. And from within here, you see what Keyshot calls different material types. Now, it is a little misleading because you would think different materials are completely unique. But in fact, different materials within Keyshot, different types of materials, share a lot of the same building blocks. So when we click on diffuse for example, which is one of the simplest materials in Keyshot, it only has one property, which is a color. If we change that color to something else, you'll notice a diffuse uh, material is one where there is color, but no shininess. It doesn't have any reflective properties. It's not see-through. It's really basic. It's just a diffuse, as they call it, a matte uh, material. So when you look at different types of materials in Keyshot, they are simply collections of properties. So notice when we are looking underneath the diffuse material here, the next set of menu items is a tab for properties or a sub tab for properties, textures, and labels. So everything below when properties is selected, these are considered properties of this material type. So this diffuse material has one property and that is just color. Now, when we change this to a different material, such as paint, you'll notice it still has the color property, but it also has two additional properties, such as roughness and refractive index. If we change this from paint to plastic, you'll see that we gain one more property, and that is called specular. As we go down this list, generally speaking, you're going to see more and more properties connected to each material type. So, I just want to make sure that that is clear that when you, like if I were to ask you what is the difference between all the different material types in Keyshot, your answer would be each material type has a unique collection of properties. Sometimes those material types, their properties overlap. Almost every single material type in here is going to have a diffuse property. A lot of them are going to have a specular property. A lot of them are going to have a roughness property, and a lot of them are going to have a refractive index property. So with that, you're basically going to, when you start learning these different material types and how to use them, you're going to start to look for common threads. Once you've memorized what a diffuse, a specular, a roughness, and refractive index do, then you're only focused on what these other different properties do that are connected to each of these material types. So that's going to make it faster to learn what all of these things do. And when you understand what each of these building blocks, these properties do, then you're going to be able to navigate these materials quite well on your own, even if you've never used them before, or if you don't use them frequently. That is what I'm talking about when I say material type. I'm referencing any of these items you can select from this list. Those are different material types within Keyshot. 